Hello Sagittarius, this is your weekly love reading for February. So let's see what we have for you guys this week. Okay, so your main card, main issue here, understanding, the Knight of Cups, no, the Page of Cups, your energy, it's innocence, or the sun in Major Arcana, mm, the outer energy, this creativity, or the Empress, in also major arcana. Do, do, do. The mind. Okay, this one is the page of swords, another page. Two pages to major arcanas. Okay, now let's see the last one. Oh, also major arcana. This one is the past lives, or the moon card the moon okay so it's about for you guys some of you guys learning a lesson here and understanding what binds you see like this bird here uh, she's trapped in this, like, she's not trapped, she's in this cage with the door open, but it chooses to remain here in the cage thinking that it has to be here, that it cannot fly out and, you know, fly with the birdies here. So it's, it's in a way, understanding something uh, of how you're holding yourself back and how you are becoming your obstacle by allowing some things into your uh you know mind into your space so um although you're hopeful here the innocence like you're you get this inner this feeling that um somehow you're open for experiences, you're curious like a child. Um, there's a part of you that it's like innocent, like a child, and open to learn and to receive things. But there's this concept that you have, or something that you have, that it's still keeping you here stuck. For some reason, uh, the other energy here we have the Empress. Uh, this is the energy of your partner or of the person that you're interested in. Um, they're cre they want to create something new. They want something new. They want a new start, something that they can shape themselves, something that they can. Um, you know, this empress here is creating new energy with her, um, you know, attitude of being free. See this, all these colors and lines, they're not confined, they're free. It's like being free to express um, the richness of their you know hearts and their being and they're just le letting that out flowing from them through them and creating something new they're 
and they want to create from this like from the the essence of their soul from their their, their inner truth they want to bring into manifest this something new they they probably want a relationship with you in this from a place in their truth their inner truth um so it's like they're they're putting out there their energy their truth their being open and not afraid and they're offering this to you to co-create with them and you do you want this you're open to this you're the sun its radiance joy you you want to follow that but there's still some obstacles in here between you two um there's also this moon card here that in this it for me it seems like what i see um it's bringing up old patterns in you and old beliefs and all like resistances that you have that keep repeating and repeating and playing again and again and fueled by your mind here by whatever like you're attached to with your mind and it's keeping you stuck um okay let me draw one more card as if for this mind thing what exactly is it that you need to okay rebirth yeah this is transformation there's something you need to transform yourself you need to change the way you're 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 you viewing things and this is coming out to the surface like whatever is deep ingrained within you like some patterns some attitudes some habits of thinking of seeing things they're expressing right now because they need to be transformed um, they're being fueled by the mind uh, but they're coming out because they need to be transformed understood and then set it free so whatever it is that you're dealing with whatever is like acting like a barrier although you want this you're open you want to follow your joy but there is something holding you back that has to do with something that keeps repeating like a pattern that you cannot rid yourself of so um you need to analyze your mind and see what is what thoughts do you have that are an obstacle and that are not allowing you to express yourself freely and that are keeping you in this in an energy of fear and restraint so whatever that is it needs to be transformed it needs to be rebirth card shed layers layers and layers you know the camel passive energy the lion it's like active aggressive energy and then there's the child this new energy innocence that it's you know shedding layers so that you can be reborn and this new child with new energy new patterns and new actually allowing yourself to form new patterns that are healthy for you that are good for you so uh so so far see like this woman here is looking that way and you're looking this way so you're kind of <laughs> um although you want to create something together you want to come together with this person first you have to overcome this obstacle that is in it's in you it's like a pattern in you that keeps repeating um whatever that is you know what it is but it needs to be transformed it is what keeps you stuck in a cage and it is what is stopping you from bonding truly with someone and creating a reliable connection and relationship so um to 
you know, to come together here and co-create something new with this person first, you have to set yourself free from your own patterns and from your own um, inner obstacles, really. It needs to be transformed. Uh, okay, let me get one more card. Uh, about what kind of obstacles, what is it in your mind that needs to be yeah this death card okay <laughs> yeah like I, I drew both of these like these are like dramatic energy like this need is like complete change rebirth this is the death card and this one is the ten of swords like complete transformation you need to close the door to the past let it go let it be um, don't go back you cannot go back there it needs to die that part of you that um that is an obstacle it needs to go so you need to let something go something of your uh something that you've been carrying with you for so long it needs to go um whatever it is you know what that is you have to figure it out yourself you have to find out what is in your mind what is in your attitude and in your habitual patterns that is an obstacle then that is not allowing you to be free and is not not allowing you to create true bonds and co-create something with someone something that is coming up again and again repeating itself you need to radically transform that and look into your mind if you want to see what it is look into what are you telling yourself what thoughts are you having because usually that's where problem is with the thoughts with the attitudes you have with our minds and um yeah, look for answers there. Look, what, what ideas do you have that are an obstacle to your happiness? What is it that you're clinging to? Uh, thinking that is real when it's actually just, you know, bullshit. <laughs> um, you need to really look into your mind and truly analyze your thoughts and um, your patterns see what keeps repeating see what keeps keeps you in this when this is like should be easy like you should be able to f flow to fly freely like there's nothing stopping you there's no door to this cage here it is you who's who thinks you have to sit here when the there's no door and you, you think you have to be here, stuck here, when you don't. So you need to look into what in your um, thinking, what in your attitude is keeping you stuck here and is not allowing you to follow your joy. So, yeah, this is kind of what I see from this spread. I hope this makes sense for you guys, for whoever resonates with this. Um, and if you don't resonate with this, it's okay. Then maybe this wasn't for you right now. So check out my next video. Maybe I have a message for you there. But either way, you need to listen to your intuition first. And only take what resonates from readings. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.